All right, guys, we are live. Welcome. Um, I am going to invite Jade right now. Um, if you're just joining, um, we're going to be talking about pageantry um, and body positivity and all of that fun stuff. So let me add her in. All right, I invited her in. If you're just joining, hi. Thank you so much for joining. Um, we're just waiting on Jay to hop in. Excuse my hair. We had a little family Halloween activity um, tonight. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. Um, so I went from, like, costume to trying to <laughs> get ready for the live. So just waiting on her to join. Um, if you have any questions for me before we start chatting, you can put those in the comments. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, and I guess, yeah. Let's see, did it work? Sorry, I I don't go live very much, as you all know. So, <laughs> I'm not incredibly talented at this. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions that you want to put in here that you want me or you want us to answer together, um, you can just do that in the comments. Um, otherwise, uh, I guess I'll just tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. Okay, we've got Jade. Um, I'll just wait for her to hop on. Um, but in regards to pageantry, um, I am not done competing. I'm going to keep competing. I love pageantry, um, and I've definitely alluded to that I'm going to keep competing. So that is what we'll be doing. Um, let me try one more time. See if that works. <sighs> Thank you for being patient. I know this is lives are hard. I always, I'm never the one coordinating them when I do them. So please excuse my inability to properly invite on uh, <laughs> the people that I need to. Um, And it doesn't look like it's going. Oh, yes, I do. I'm going to be competing um, with Miss USA again. Um, and we're getting Jay. Hi, girl. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. All right. So. Uh, hi, Hanam. Nice, um, thank nice you. Too. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I know that you kind of got stuck at dinner, um, but we, we told everyone we're doing a lot, so I appreciate you making the time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. All right, so we want to just talk about body positivity and pageantry and all of that fun stuff. Um, nice. Oh, yeah, great. I just, I have a special guest in heaven. I'm going to this in this universe, Nigeria. Hi, Georgia. Um, it's so, nice. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, we're just sitting here for a few minutes. So, so you're waiting for dinner still? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's fun. Let's say everyone. What state? I'm in Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. So, it's pretty far from New York. I know. I wish I could. I wish I could have been in New York and we could do it live and in person. Have you had fun? I, I, uh, yes, I have it. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, looks, it looks like you're having fun and you've been on like Times Square and stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's so fun. So, are you also, are you also a beauty pageant? Um, like, have, have you also been in beauty pageants as well? Yeah, so I competed um, with Miss Earth. Oh. Um, and did a lot with that organization and Miss Earth USA and was able to do a lot. And then, um, yeah, so that was the pageant that I really like did a lot of. And then the United States, um, for universe has never had anybody plus size. So I'm trying to compete this year now as well. In the service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I guess I'm the first one, though. Yes. In the, yes. I mean, yeah, yes. one of yeah. the first few. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Yeah, at Miss Universe. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you're trying to be the first one in the US. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's never been thank you. Yeah, there's never been a plus size woman on at Miss USA. So I think it needs to happen. I know. So I think it needs to happen. Yes. Yeah. I'm so excited to watch you at Miss Universe. I think it is so, so beyond time that it happens. I think it needed to happen many years ago, um, but I know we're so grateful that it's finally happening. Are you so excited? I'm very excited. I'm going to get to make a mark. Yeah. yeah, and I know you are, and I know you're already making such a huge difference. Um, do you think that you've had a lot of good and positive support? Yeah, I've had a lot of support. A lot of women are super happy to feel very represented and inspired mm -hmm. because I'm just just because I'm just here you know just me being here and mm -hmm. I um I'm really happy for that because I really think like like you said it's about time yeah we show true beauty you know a real size beauty woman not just the mm -hmm. people Sorry. No, I totally agree. And Not I just like the typical, you know, like tall, skin and, you know, absolutely. long hair. And I think, I think people like when we compete, um, it's not that like we don't think we just want the diversity in bodies mm -hmm. we want all yes. bodies to be accepted exactly it's not it's, it's not, not just one type of body not just one type of body. exactly and like everyone is beautiful in like whatever way that is most like healthy and suitable for them and like for us it's looking like this and like it's a great opportunity to show girls that they don't have to go to extreme lengths mm. to feel like yeah. they're beautiful and healthy and exactly. can do whatever they want to do exactly. yeah so um have you always been like um like like a larger size like mm -hmm. or yeah yeah um, yeah basically i remember like some of the first comments like family members would make would be like oh she needs to go on a diet she needs to do this this and this um and i was always like in sports and like doing um different activities and i just didn't understand like what they expected me to do um besides just really extreme like weight loss stuff and that just seemed mm. really unreasonable to me and then when I, st I started competing in pageants when i was 16 and then it was kind of that same thing all over again like oh you need to lose weight to ever do this you never um are going to be successful in pageantry if you don't lose a bunch of weight and i decided that's not what i wanted to do yeah. what about you yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually no before i used to be very uh, thin super thin and i also had an eating disorder where i used to starve myself because i thought i was obese because my body yeah i lived in nepal and in nepal a lot of the girls are very like shorter like genetically they're mm -hmm. more shorter more thinner more you know sh you know smaller yeah. Like their bone structure is very small and my bone structure is more like american yeah. you know? american you know what i mean like but i think yeah. <laughs> so i'm like i was like twice their size always and they would always be like you're big you know i would always be called fat or he's big mm -hmm. even though mm -hmm. i was like stick thin and right. it's because i had a big bone structure but then so yeah i used to start myself a lot and i think that really messed up my metabolism oh and, absolutely um i started like, gaining weight after that actually very quickly and i also have a hormonal problem hormonal yeah. disease which mm -hmm. um causes extreme weight gain so yeah so. right and people don't understand that like body size is like so much so much more than like diet and exercise like mm -hmm. we can all exercise and eat the same way and we're all going to look different yeah, um, exactly. and that's interesting you bring that up because i actually have um an issue with my thyroid um see so uh, right there uh, we yeah. are another girl with a hormonal imbalance <laughs> yeah i actually have um a tumor on my thyroid oh my um, god it's small nice. it's, yeah, i've had it for years and actually i'm glad we're talking about it because i never talk about it because i feel like everyone's gonna be like oh then just get it fixed or whatever but like it's not it's not that easy right Right, exactly. And it's like, I'm doing what I can to take care of myself in the best ways that I can. So I think that's what's important. And, you know, Are you okay? not just okay? like, like, when did you get yeah. diagnosed? I actually found out I had it in high school. Um, I got a really bad concussion. And then like doing the scan, they found it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, they I didn't know. I just thought like, that's how my body was that I was just 
my body just was, was bigger. Just that's how it was going to be. But there was actually a reason behind it. Um, yeah, and people don't understand. So that's I just want to show this. Yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> what restaurant are you at? Wow, thank you. It's beautiful. Like, it's so, like, artsy, right? Yes, it's gorgeous. She, she treated me, so. She's so sweet. Yeah. That is so sweet. She's the oh, first in this universe girl that I've seen, um, that I've met, so. Like, we're both in New York. Yeah, I mean, we just met today. So we're yeah, having an amazing dinner. And she's just so bad. <laughs> I'm doing the live. No. <laughs> well, I mean. I can absolutely let you go. No, no, no. We, we can have a few minutes. Yeah. I mean, we pre planned this. Which, for sure. Uh, what should we, you want to talk about um, like your journey to Miss Universe or do you want to talk about um, like the importance of inclusivity in pageantry? Um, I mean, what you were talking about was basically that. Yeah. So. That's, yeah. that's valid. Um, um, how, what, what are you doing to get ready for Miss Universe? So, well, I got crowned like about seven weeks ago yeah. or six weeks ago. And yeah. I was like working 16 hours a day, like preparing for the pageant because, like, okay. we had no time. And so, I did makeup and hair training, I did walk training, mm -hmm. I did QA training. Every day, I would go to my designers and get all of my outfits and make sure everything yeah. was proper and ready and finally I'm just like a little bit at peace like yeah. you know it's and over so, yeah. no it's not over honey it's no, just no, the no. beginning but no, that, that part that, that, part, right? that like, part is over <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so much more to go but yeah at least in New York I'm just relaxing and doing some last minute shopping you know getting my nails done like mm -hmm. doing some events I did a meet and greet today. It was so nice. I, I really felt it was such a cute meet and greet, but it was like with my Nepali community in Nepal in New York City. I met, you know, a lot of people working with like uh, mental health organizations and environment health and those kind of things. So I really enjoyed that. And then I got to meet some of Nigeria, which was amazing because I'm yeah. excited, you know, making new friends already. Even Mauritius is here too, so I think I'm gonna meet Mauritius tomorrow. Oh, that's amazing! Yeah. So you're doing a ton, so, ton of stuff here. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of things. Um, yeah, I've explored a lot of New York City as well. So, so well, that's incredible, and I know, yeah, you have so much to do before Miss Universe. Um, all the things that go into preparing for such a big competition. Um, so that's gonna be really exciting. I'm glad that you were able to come to the. U.S. and go to New York. Is it your first time coming to New York? Have you been there before? I am an American, actually. But uh, my mother is Nepali, and I am half Nepali, and I've lived in Nepal for 15 years. God. But I have yeah, a U.S. I, I have a U.S. citizenship, and I've lived in both countries. So, oh, that's very cool. Um, this is not this is not my first time in the U.S., but right. it's actually my first. I guess my second time in New York City, and like my first okay. time as an adult. Yeah. So. It was like, like a total different experience oh my for sure. Yeah. I felt like no, a, for sure. <laughs> I, have a, I have another pageant friend that um, is Romanian and she lived here for a long time and then moved there and kind of the same thing. Like she had dual um, and she hadn't been here for a little bit um, and then competed in uh, Romania. Yeah. So, what do you think we can do? to show the world that, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know how to put the question, like not show the world that we're beautiful, because we are beautiful, but prove to the world that there isn't one type of beauty standard, you know? Like there isn't just yeah. one type of, like what do you think we can do? Because we're both models, we're both pageant girls, mm -hmm. we're both curvy, curvaceous, you know, a bigger size. And so like, mm -hmm. what, what can we do to, what do you think is? I think the biggest thing for me was just continuing to show up. I think being you being on the universe stage is going to make such a huge statement um, in showing women everywhere and that showing pageantry that this is something that's important. 
Um, I think there was such a fear for so long that it was, I always would get like promoting obesity. That was like the favorite thing that people would say about me, but it's oh my God, not same. that. It's no. not that. It's not that at all. And like, we are trying to show young girls and women and truly everybody that bodies are different and it's okay and you can be beautiful and confident in the body that you have. So I really think it's about just continuing it for us to show up as we are and not changing ourselves to meet the standards that they're trying to tell us we need to meet. Um, and then using our social media like we already are um, and yeah. sharing our daily lives and why it's okay to be like this. Yeah. What do you I mean, do you think I, don't, I don't necessarily think it's okay to be extremely obese because right. that does affect your health. But mm -hmm. I think that it's beautiful to accept your body the way that you are and to work on yeah. your body to have a healthy lifestyle. So because, for example, like you said, we both have hormonal imbalances, right? Mm -hmm. And if we don't take care of our health, things can become worse, actually. And that can lead to more diseases further down the line. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we should also love ourselves and love our body the way it is and embrace our curves. I love yeah. that. But try to have a healthier lifestyle. But that's what I believe in. So I yeah. am trying my best I, to eat healthy, to take care of my health. But sometimes, you know, like, like it's super hard for me to lose weight, mm -hmm. right? But I'm mm -hmm. doing my best. I'm exercising and, you know, eating very healthy overall. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's the, trying to have a low stress life. That's the, that's the best I can do, right? Yeah. I can't, I'm not going to starve myself and I'm not going to do extreme dieting yeah. to become a sick thing because that's never going to happen. Yeah. I think that's a really good point and something that like I feel like it's missed a lot is that it's not about saying that obesity isn't a problem yeah. in a lot of places like that's it's totally a different thing it's about showing that we're doing everything we can to be healthy and take care of ourselves and that is not the same as like you can still love your body through that process. Exactly. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. How did you accept your body and who you are as a person? How did you learn to accept yourself? I think, I think it was really like coming to terms with what I looked like um, and knowing that when I was like really exercising multiple times a week, almost every day, I was eating really healthy. I was, you know, tracking everything. I was doing everything that I could to be as healthy as I could be and I still was bigger than everyone else, I realized that it was more than um, more than just these habits and more than being unhealthy. Um, and it was obviously when I found out about the thyroid um, issue, it just kind of all came together and made more sense to me. Um, but I think it was the process of that and then starting to compete and really just showcase like who I was and that I was confident in what I looked like and start dressing myself in things that I felt confident in. I think that's a really big thing is like wearing clothes that I feel beautiful and confident in um, and sharing and like uh, connecting with people on social media. What has been it for you? Um, so I think for me, it was like changing the way I thought, you know, my mindset. Mm -hmm. My mindset was very negative before I would always compare myself to other girls and mm -hmm. I had an eating disorder before because I thought I was so fat and obese and I wasn't good enough and I had very low self-esteem yeah. and I really had to change the way I thought and change my self-esteem, you know, my perspective and stop comparing myself to other girls because I would compare myself to make myself feel better or to make myself feel worse, you know, and that's that's really... That was that really impacted my mental health as well. Yeah. So I think for me, like affirmations and also doing treatment, you know, taking care of my skin, eating healthy, like those kind of small things, daily habits that I changed every day really made me feel better and made me feel more confident in myself as well. And just like brainwashing myself to be more positive, to you know, you have you you know, you know affirmations and Absolutely. So, yeah, those those really helped me to change the way I think to accept my body, to love myself where it's at, and because I gained a lot of weight, like a lot, like it was like fifty pounds in like two years, 
uh, mm-hmm. it was like it was like really hard on me as well because I was like, oh, uh, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Sure. That's, yeah. No, and I can totally understand that and relate to that because I went through a really big fluctuation. Mm-hmm. Um, totally out of nowhere, I gained it like thirty pounds, and then I lost thirty pounds. Um, out of nowhere, really. So I can definitely relate to like that feeling of just like, what do I do? Like, this is so overwhelming. What do I need to change? It's, it's really hard. And I think those affirmations are really important too. And knowing that you're still worthy and you're still able yes. to accept and love yourself and what you look like at the moment that you're existing at. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly, yeah. Well, do you have anything else that you want to ask or anything else you want to talk about? What? Yeah. I always, people ask me this, but I'm going to ask you, what advice would you give to other curvy girls that want to join pageantry? I would say go for it. You can totally do it. It doesn't matter what anyone says. You are amazing just the way you are. And I think that this is now is the time to really show the world real beauty, true beauty, you know, real size beauty. Because like I said, those pageant girl beauty, that's not the only type of beauty. It's not the only type of um, woman like, that we should try to become or mold ourselves into because our bodies are curvy and we are naturally made this way. We can't change it, you know? So I think the best that, that we can do is just accept ourselves and go after our dreams. If you want to join a pageant, you join a pageant. You can. I couldn't agree more. I say every woman that has ever wanted to do a pageant and felt like their body wasn't good enough, this is your time to compete and show everyone just how confident and beautiful that you feel. Oh my God, yeah. I just realized like so many girls like never joined pageants because they felt like, you know, their body wasn't good. Like they weren't you know tall enough. They weren't beautiful enough. Oh yes. my gosh. And like yeah. now finally, like the past few years, like finally they're trying to slowly yes. few girls, few yes. brave ones, you know, our brave souls. We're we're going there, we're showing the world. And we're just I love that. Going up and doing it. Hi. I know. And it's Hi. amazing. Yes. I can't wait to see you in this UFA. Thank you, you. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna compete this year, so hopefully oh. it and Yes. I'll definitely keep you updated and then I will be cheering, oh my goodness, so hard for you and Miss Universe and keep me updated for sure. Yeah. Please it would really it would really help me if you can vote for me and also tell your fans to vote for me. Oh for sure. Because I'm not just um just I'm not just representing my country, I'm I'm representing millions and millions of men and women around the world. Absolutely. feel like they're not good enough if you like you know their bodies are not the best that's mm-hmm. what i'm here for so Absolutely. i really I, re- I really i really want all of us curvy girls to join together and to support each other so yeah please right, vote for so me on the miss universe if you, app yeah. if you heard that make sure you go and vote for our beautiful girl jade as she competes for miss universe jane is representing so many beautiful women that maybe have never felt like they have been seen or heard before so please go to miss universe and vote for jane and she's representing nepal yeah, yeah also also like uh save this slide and we can go post it yeah absolutely. Absolutely. for sure all right well have fun at dinner and enjoy the rest of your thank time you. in new york thank you i'll talk to you soon bye yeah, lovely you. talking to you bye bye i'll talk to you too bye thank you everyone <laughs>